Hey YouTube, Easter Ridge Hiker here. I've got a quick unboxing I want to do here. Uh, as you can see, it's another goodies, goodie from Holtzman's. Uh, if you don't know them, Holtzman Gorilla Survival. The guys are awesome. Uh, anyway, check out my other video on some of their other products. But let's get to this thing. i got a lot of stuff to do today. Okay. Now you get your card, everything. Description. Silica, it did have a, uh, you know, the free gift card in it. But uh, I took that out of there. I've been playing with this thing a little bit. You know, checking it out. I haven't actually used it yet. I wanted to keep it <laughs> looking nice. So until I did this. But after today, it's fair game. So it comes with this nice leather sheath. I gotta say, this is pretty good quality, uh, especially for the price. This thing is $19.95 on their website, this little set. And uh, I've actually got another, let's see if I brought it. I thought I did. I must not have. I had another multi-tool that I wanted to compare. That's why I brought that thing. I got a bunch of stuff in this bag here. Uh, if this takes me forever, I'll just cut back and come back to it. There it is, there it is. Okay. This is another one that I got off of Amazon last year. Uh... Poland. It's one of those Chinese specials, I'm sure. Uh, they did say they were a family company, father daughter company. I remember that. Uh, but overall, it's been pretty good. It's durable, but I have noticed some things that are starting to wear out. And it's got some features that I do like that I don't like. I mean, I like the look of it. And it's good material. Uh, this is 2CR for the steel. Never heard of that, but whatever. It's worked. Uh, things I don't like are that none of the attachments or none of the uh, other tools lock into place. It looks like they would. That kind of looks like one of those locks, but it is not. So I don't like that. But one thing I do really like about it is that when you fold it up, the tools are on the outside. You don't have to open it. Get the pliers out to get to your tools. I did like that. But overall, the quality hasn't been that great, if you can see that. I noticed that, actually, when I picked it up to come out here. Uh, these screws are definitely loose. They're unscrewing. I mean, it's easy fix, Loctite, but... That would have been a pain, you know, if I would have not noticed that before I tried to use it. But it'll be a while, probably. This will go in an extra backpack or something. Because this is my new one, and I'm definitely excited about this. But, yeah. That one came with a nylon sheath, too. And it was, like, 12 bucks, I think. 11, 12 bucks. Like I said, on Amazon. This one was 19.95. I got rubber bands under this. I've got this tilted at an angle and it was sliding, so I put some rubber bands. But anyway, $19.95 and you get both of these tools and a leather sheath. And obviously Holtzman's always has great packaging. Uh, perfect for gifts. But overall, I mean, it's just nice anyway to people, somebody that actually cares about presentation. But this is the, the main event, the multi-tool. Um, as you can see, it is very thick. You got the sunlight here. Thick and durable. I really like the set of pliers. It's got the little Gorilla logo. The uh, wire cutters seem to be good. I haven't used them yet. We'll see. Wire cutters on multi-tools. I'm really picky about those. Uh, 
they never quite seem to work good. But I got faith in these. This is a different style than what I'm used to. You know, this is a separate blade that's been riveted on. I uh, like these little holes. I mean, I'm sure there's no use for that, just for looks, but it's cool looking. Um, one thing I really love about this is every single tool locks in, not just the knife blade. Uh, I have touched this up. It was sharp. Now it's sharper. Um, this is the release. It's a nice button. Easy to access. These tools are easy to pull out. Another thing that bugs me about multi-tools is half the time you have to pull out every tool to get to the one you want. These are easily accessed. Like I said, boom, they lock in. It's not going anywhere unless you push your button. But it's got the knife blade, a Phillips, a little flathead, fish scaler, a little hook removing tool. On the other side, there is bottle opener slash can opener. Got another flathead, larger. I believe this is an awl. I don't use a lot of awls. And of course the file. One thing it doesn't have that I'm used to is a saw blade. But that's no biggie. I don't really care. They take care of that little issue with this one. Oh man, that's hard to get out. It came with a little key ring on it. I took it off. It's actually still in this box. I just don't want it on there. I'm not going to keep it on the keychain. Uh, but this is a nice little you know, Swiss Army style knife. You got the Holtzman Gorilla. Uh, it's a very durable feeling plastic. Uh, at first when I looked at it, I was like, man, this thing is uneven. But it's not. It's just that it's thicker up here. There's a recess. And I'm an idiot. So, this thing is pretty cool. I do like it. It's got your normal attachments, the corkscrew. And for those of you who don't know, you know, why does a Swiss Army knife always have a corkscrew? Who's drinking wine in the field? Um, it's for knots, mostly. It's really easy to get a knot out with a corkscrew compared to trying to pull those tight knots out. So, there you go. Now you know. Uh, you've got your leather needle. Oh, put two up there. A little nail file. And as you can see, I can actually pull these out individually as well. They're not too difficult. They don't all come out at once. Uh, there's your awl. And your Phillips head does not have the tweezers and toothpick which are very hard to keep up with on the real Swiss Army knives anyway uh, you've got your can opener which this is not a sharpened edge I thought about sharpening it but I didn't let's see how it does without it uh, of course your little bottle opener slash flathead screwdriver the scissors, which I love on a survival knife, or I mean, not, not, well, Swiss Army style knife. Even multi tools, I like scissors on multi tools, which technically this is. Uh, it is the spring loaded standard style. I tried them out, they work really well. I touched them up just a little, but that's because I'm a bit OCD. That has nothing to do with them not 
getting it sharp. Uh, let's see, the scissors. And then you've got your fish scaler. The saw, which is impressively sharp. I have to say, I was very impressed with how sharp this thing is. I haven't tried it out yet, but I've found enough of these saws to know that that's going to be effective. And of course, your knife blade. And I'm excited to carry this little thing. I hope I don't lose it. I started wearing neck knives because I keep losing my pocket knives. Uh, I got high hopes. I thought about attaching a lanyard or something to this. That way I don't lose it. Uh, maybe <laughs> wrap it around my belt loop. Who knows? I'm going to try not to lose it. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited about it. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be great. If it's not, I'll do another review and let you know. If I have some issues with it. Uh, but so far, everything I've gotten from them has been fantastic. I highly recommend them. Holtzma Gorilla Survival. Uh, you can Their website is the same name, .com. Uh, you can find them on Amazon. Find them in a lot of places now. I think Walmart. Uh, great products. I've talked to the owner personally. Seems like a really nice guy. Uh, he takes the time to you know show you. He appreciates your business. And uh, definitely check them out. If you like this video, like and subscribe. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. Um, check out my other videos. Maybe you'll like one of them. And then uh, if you didn't finish, you know, stay to the end and screw you. You're not here to hear it anyway. Thanks.